Elizabeth Nasa Mansour. I'm from East Africa, Tanzania. Some months back, I used to be a student, but I was diagnosed with scoliosis over two years back when I was still in high school. It affected my breathing system. It affected my activity in sports and uh, concentrating in class because I had constant back pain. After I was diagnosed with scoli scoliosis back then, I had to undergo physical therapy over some months, like two months back in my country. Then I had to have a corset, which I wore for over an entire year, but it didn't help. But when I completed my high school studies, I was told I have to undergo a surgery. That's when my father and his team, his work team, started finding places, different places in India where they solved such a problem. I reached here during mid-September and as soon as I reached in Bangalore, the next day I had an appointment with the doctor, Dr. Vidyadhar. The moment I met him, with the big vibe he had, he encouraged me and motivated me and gave me hope that after the surgery I can be able to walk the next day. She presented to us with a 75 degree thoracic scoliosis and we did evaluate her thoroughly using MRI and cardiac and lung function tests and found that she is fit for surgery and she was operated with a four to six hour long surgery and she withstood the surgery very well and neuromonitoring signals all along the surgery were quite satisfactory and she woke up with good neurological power in both her lower limbs, which is a risk factor in these kind of major scoliosis correction surgeries. She was mobilized the same night and was walking comfortably the next day and was discharged to the guest house. Immediately after the surgery, the second day they tried to make me walk and I could actually do it. I felt my back straight again after many years of feeling bent and having deep insecurities. But at the end of the day, I feel straight. Now I am capable of doing things that, like I'm capable of staying for a long time. She has been here with us for the last two to three weeks and she has been progressively improving and her wound has healed very well and she is ready to fly back to her own country. The scoliosis surgery per se is a major surgical enterprise involving spinal column and more importantly because the spinal cord goes through the spinal column and whenever we manipulate or maneuver the spinal column to normal uh, from a bent posture to a normal posture or a straightened posture the spinal column becomes longer and the spinal cord gets stretched and this is a dangerous thing if you don't have multimodal neuromonitoring signals and if you have them it is as safe as any other surgery we thank god we met with Dr. Vidya Dara and he welcomed us well and gave us more, more moral support and that give the confidence that this will going to, to be happens and she will start her normal life and she will go with her career and for the further studies. The doctor was really nice, the nurses were loving, helpful. Every department did its job perfectly. In her case, with the severe deformity of 75 degrees, we could achieve near normal correction of less than 10 degrees in a single setting using five level ponte osteotomy and posterior spinal uh, uh, instrumented scoliosis correction and fusion surgery. I wish her all the very best for a bright and prosperous future. Here I am today, three weeks after the surgery, I feel well enough to do anything. I would like to thank my parents for everything, the doctors, the de every, every department, the doctors and his team. We thank God, we thank all Manipal, Manipal uh, team hospital for what, uh, what you did to, for my, my daughters. Mm -hmm.